remember what we talked about here when we were kids. Yes. Although at the time, I really thought you were joking. How cold. I'm not the kind of man who makes a joke about something like that. <laughs> you really were a strange one, though. What was it now? A school for the children? A safe village for your brothers? Hmm. I remember thinking that you had some pretty grand plans for a little kid. Oh? But they weren't bad dreams. They were the same as mine. Which is why I am here with you today. Yes. The Hidden Leaf Village. This village has become precious to me, and I must protect it. <laughs> so, have you thought about my Hokage idea some more? What? You were being serious about that. I thought you were just pulling my leg. What? No, I was being deadly serious. You would be perfect for the position. You'll be the leader of the village and guide everyone forward. And we'll carve a model of your face in the cliff here as an emblem of the village. Hey, I never agreed to that. It's not my style. It's not up to you. The more embarrassed you are, the better. You're just trying to torture me here, aren't you? <laughs> Very smart. It is a fine outfit. Well, it was supposed to be yours. I still think you'd make a better Hokage than I will. Well, it was a democratic decision. The villagers chose you. You are the Hokage. Madara. This stone. This stone has been passed down through generations of the Uchiha clan. It can be deciphered only by those with special eye abilities. This is as much as I can read so far. Seeking stability, there was a god who split into two halves, light and dark. Bringing the two halves together again grants the user the power of all creation. In other words, bringing two opposing forces together as one will lead to true happiness. But you can take it another way, too. Never mind. There is no point in talking to you about it now. What do you mean? Hashirama, I am leaving the village. We are history. Huh? W why I do not have any allies here. No one looks up to me. But I can't do this without you. I need you as my right-hand man, as a brother. The people will soon come to see you for what you are. And when they do, you can be the second Hokage. I should think Tobirama will be your successor. If that happens, my clan will be doomed. I have tried to warn the other Uchiha of the danger and get them to leave the village. Save your breath. I am leaving. I have found another way. Wait, they're just misunderstanding you. Let us just say it comes down to how you perceive reality. Anyway, enough with the groveling. It is far healthier to see this world as a playground. Hey, are you listening to me? You are the only one who can stand up to me. Mother! Until I reach the path to my true dream. Ugh. I shall enjoy fighting with you.
What is your true dream? Why wouldn't you explain it to me? Lord Hokage! What is it? It's... it's Madara Uchiha! He's coming! What? Really? He's come back? He's attacking the village! He wiped out the vanguard unit. We sent a second and third, but we've had reports of heavy casualties. We're working on evacuating the villagers. We just can't stop Madara's advance. What are we going to do? Hokage! What's the meaning of this? Why would... Madara, we built this place together, you and me. Why would you? It doesn't make sense. I can't understand you anymore. I can't... understand. Ambitions and machinations swirled in the dark night. Had the emotions of yesterday already run dry? Was despair the only thing that awaited? With unspeakable pain in his heart, Hashirama Senju challenged his friend. Believing that in this deep abyss, there was one last sliver of hope. I knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong. I mean, back then, you, you were a hero. It was during the Third Great Ninja War. An age when men and women, young and old, anyone who was known as ninja, flew headlong into battle. They drew blood, shed their bonds, stole things, and lost their own. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. They too were ninja, Embroiled in this terrible war, putting their lives on the line. How are you always so late? Ninja have rules. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? What's going on? Phew. Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito, remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a medkit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife. Just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? Sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap like that would just be excess baggage. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start fighting! Now, let me run through the mission. 
You're all aware that the land of Earth has launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the land of fire. That's why we need to stop them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. Yes, sir. They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay. Too slow. Too slow. 
Good. No sign of any reinforcements. Kakashi's really worn out. Let's retreat for now and regroup. I'm... I'm fine. Fine my ass? That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk, coming from a ninja who was too scared to be of any help. I... I wasn't scared! I was just, you know, I, I had a tummy ache. I'll be fine next time. That's all that ever comes out of your mouth. Excuses. Enough already, you two. <sighs> You're going to have to work together from now on if you want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito. You still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in a battle with no exit, the boys just kept moving forward, running as fast as they could. Okay, time to split up. Good luck, everyone. Disperse! After parting with Minato, Kakashi's team headed straight for their target, Kanabi Bridge. Sometimes arguing, sometimes working together, moving ever forward. Finally, several days later, with their target in sight, the three took their final break. Moving into enemy territory had made them extremely tense. That was when it happened. She's coming with us. Hey, what did you do to her? Don't worry, she's just asleep. We'll be able to get a lot out of her. Let her go! Hmm. No! Come on, Kakashi, we gotta go after them! Hey, Kakashi! Kakashi? The two of us need to carry on with the mission by ourselves. What? Do you know what you're saying? Yes. But Reen! What about Reen? We'll think about Reen later. They want to know what our plan is, so they won't kill her straight away. We should be more worried about them learning our tactics. 
To a ninja, his mission is everything. That's the ninja code. The ninja code? There's something way more important than that stupid code! What about Reen? She's one of our comrades! She's helped us time and time again with her medical ninjutsu. She supported us the entire time! She's... She's a priceless friend! She did that because it was part of her mission. Forget it. You and I just don't get along. There's no point in discussing it anymore. You don't get it. You don't know what happens to people who break the code. Sure, maybe in the ninja world those who break the rules are scum. But you know what? Someone who doesn't care about their friends is even worse. I'm going to help Reen. She's trapped in a Genjutsu. If you want to free her, you'll need to defeat us. But there's no way you could do that. Rain, I promise. Must have taken a lot of courage to come here alone. Sometimes courage just isn't enough. You know what I mean? Huh? Unfortunately, your life ends here. Fireball! My arm's still shaking. Damn it. I'm afraid because you're weak, Obito. Get over it! Just a little more. Green. Think you're close, do you? To rescuing your friend? Huh? I knew it. You think like a kid, you act like a kid. You really think someone like me would fight seriously against a kid? You don't know when to give up, do you? Maybe you're not as useless as I thought you were. Quit playing games, Taisuke. I will. Camouflage Jutsu! here well I couldn't leave a weakling like you on his own could I he's pretty tough for a kid I think I'd better join you Taisuke just in case I'll take the lead here back me up Obito let's do this Obito, is Rin okay? He used Genjutsu on Rin. That's why. You'll have to defeat us if you want to snap her out of it. Simple, right? <laughs> yeah! Uh... I've got this one. Chidori! Yeah. Oh, Chidori! Chidori! Yeah. This one must be 
be quite the manpower shortage in the Leaf Village. They must be crazy to send kids like you out to war. Age doesn't matter. If you can fight, you fight. That's the ninja way of life. Our training system is worlds apart from yours, I guess. Everything you say pisses me off. You know that. Here they go. Fireball! Got it! Chinori! I just let my guard down for a second, that's all. Still, they're definitely more than your average kids. Time to finish this. Leave it to me! Brad is really tough. Kakashi! I can handle it. Obito! See ya! Kakashi! Damn it! Are you okay? You're... I... I'm not dead yet. Just stay focused, Obito. We can use this to our advantage. I'll finish both of them now. I can never back up what I say. I always rely on everyone for help. But still... There's one thing that I want to make sure I can back up. Your, your eyes! Obito, you've awakened your Sharingan! I'm going to save my friends! Huh? Whoa, whoa, seriously? Ready? Obito? You bet! I feel like I... Chinori! Whatever. I better stay sharp anyway, since he's strong enough to take out Tyson. Fire-style Phoenix Fire Jutsu! You little brat! Don't get cocky! What's going on with this guy? He's nothing like he was before! Yeah. Oh. Chidori! Fireball! You won't be leaving here in one piece! You're right in the palm of my hand! No more running away! Firestyle! Phoenix Fire Jutsu! Sooner or later, they'll leave themselves wide open. I'm good to go.
Release! Kakashi, Obito! We're here to save you, Rin. You're safe now. You rescued the hostage and let your guard down. Don't you think it's a bit early to relax? You little leaf brats! <laughs> Earth-style rock breaker! This is bad! Run to the exit! Are you okay, Rin? Kakashi? Obito! No! Don't bother. It's no use, Kakashi. I think uh, I'm done for. Obito! No! But why? <laughs> Damn it! Why? If I had listened to you when you first said we should go after Reen, then this would never have happened. Some leader, some Jonin I am. Oh yeah. I forgot. I never gave you a gift to congratulate you on becoming a Jonin. Kakashi. I I've been trying to come up with something good. And just now, I got an idea. Don't worry, it's not some lame gift you can't use. I want you to have my Sharon gun. I don't care what people back home say. You are a great Jonin. I truly believe that. Take this, please. I'm going to die now. But I'll become one of your eyes. I'll see what the future holds. Take Rain and go. More reinforcements are coming. But, Obito! Just go! Rain! Earth style! Earthquake slam! <laughs> Reen, grab onto me, quick! Damn it. 
Kakashi. Protect Reen. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go. Uh! Am I dead? Wait. Hmm. Looks like you're awake. Sensei, why? This kunai is a marker for my transportation technique. What about the enemies? I took care of them. <laughs> what about Reen? Where's Reen? I'm sorry I didn't make it in time, Kakashi. Reen told me everything. The Third Great Ninja War. This long, drawn-out conflict came to an end after taking the lives of many nameless ninja. At the same time, it carved the names of a number of heroes into ninja history. The Battle of Kanabi Bridge. On that day, two heroes were born in the Hidden Leaf Village, each with their own Sharingan. The name of one is carved on a tombstone, while the other is known far and wide as Kakashi of the Sharingan. However, with the passage of time, even tales of heroism can unfold into cold, heartless reality. The fighting, the pain, the hatred. It goes on and on forever.